Hi, it's Steve here. Just um, want to show you, this is today, which is the 16th of December, I'm doing this video, uh, 2020, just with our Rate the Races Australian. Now we've ha had Rate the Races for the UK and uh, Ireland for nearly 10 years, and we've taken the format and brought it into the Australian racing, and I didn't know how it would go to start with, but it's turned out to go on extremely well, and I keep on experimenting the best way to use it. And now I know that a lot of our clients uh, in the UK and that want to um, use it, but of course the racing starts uh, around two o'clock in the morning and uh, it's a bit hard for them to get involved. Well, this is, here is a way I'll show you if you stay with me through this video of doing it. Okay, so what I did today, I'll just move over camera over here is I used the ratings today Wednesday we probably had six or seven meetings um, well you can see there in the ratings now what I did with the um, with the ratings is I'm using the top two ratings and I'll just show you that here in the ratings here you can scan by the top rated or the top two and that's what I use the top two I find top three uh, it's not as good, but top two works well. And you can see here, like in Wyong, we've got race one, uh, Castle Kummer, and uh, and in race one, the second rated is Dance Too Hard. And if I just scroll over a little bit, you can see the ratings. The ratings here, 429 for the top one, and 341 for the second rated. Now, it's these top two rated that I'm going to show you the results that I've got. I've been using this for a while now, trying to uh, find the best way of getting it. Because I'll tell you the one thing about it is it gets very good winners. Now today it's had um, 36 to 1, 24 to 1, 17 to 1, 16 to 1 winners. And now keeping in mind that we've only got two horses in a race, and in some of the races we don't have two horses. And why is that? It's because Today I started separating the bets and I wasn't interested in any of the horses that were $3.50, odds of $3.50 or less. And there were 22 of those horses in the top two rated were three fifty or less. So there's 22 bets I didn't have. I missed seven winners, but I didn't lose any profit. I, I lost, would have lost four, four dollars or four pounds if I had bet those twenty-two horses that were under three fifty. Now, if we look over here between three fifty-one and one hundred, there was eighty-six horses that qualified, thirteen winners, a return of one hundred and fifty-six ninety, and after commissions, etc., it made a sixty-four pound or dollar profit. Now, if I deleted the horses between 50 and 100, I would have had seven less bets, so that would have taken my profit up to 71 pounds or dollars. Not bad for... That is today. So in today's racing, this is what we've had. 86 bets, 13 winners for 64 pounds profit. Now, here's the results... Um, this is off our bot now. That's one thing I'll talk to you about is the easy bet bot And that's how I put the bets on and if you're in the UK, this is how you could put the bets on the rate The ratings are available a few days in advance So like if you're in the UK or Ireland that you could put the bets on during your daytime for the nighttime racing So the, the ratings are usually two and three days in advance you, What you could do is you could go into your easy bet bot and put the bets in the bot and then the bot will do this if I bring up this sheet here this is from within the bot these figures here and you can see here that some of them have got active and some have got settled what it is I put all the bets in into easy bet bot doesn't take long I put all the bets in and then the bot at 20 seconds I, I use 20 seconds before they're off at 20 seconds before the start of the race the bot will go in and see are the horses in the price range that I want. So are they between 350 and 100? If they are, it'll put the bet on. If they're not, it won't put the bet on. And that's where we get those 
those 22 horses that were under for 350 and under you can see them here they ran you know most of them ran placing so you can see here second third second 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 unplaced one third one one third one 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 third one third second third that was 160 third unplaced so there's only about three unplaced horses out of those 22 but I didn't want to go into the place market. I find place bidding is not that good with the rating, so I was stick sticking to the um, three fifty to a hundred. Okay, and so that's the ratings that we use. And the easy bit bot is the software of ours that I use to put the bits on, and I can just load them into the software. I'll just bring the software up for you here. Here's the software here, part of it. I can just put the bits into here, um, program them, and then if I move over here, schedule bits, you can see all the bits that I've had today were scheduled here. And that was that printout I showed you just before. And the current bits, we don't have any current bits, and these are the results. Now I've only bet, only bet 25 cents today, seeing because I was just uh, testing it. But you can see there the good thing with easy bet bot is you can bet small while you're trying to hone um, a strategy that you want to use. So you can see there um, Odin's Folly was 17 to 1. Uh, what's the, some of the other winners? Uh, like a Jaguar was 7 to 2. 3 to um, 360 for Orange Ruffy. But we had a couple of good ones. Um, 24 on losing ticket. And. Uh, what's it? We had another couple, just trying to check where they've gone. We had uh, 36, they came late in the day, there were seven there. 36 on dip par at Ascot and Perth, 36 uh, to one, or 35 to one. And then I think just a race or two after that we had, or a race before that, 24 to one, which was that losing ticket. So we had a big run of outs, and there was another one here there, Benefactress at 17. Um, and keep in mind, we're only having one or two horses in a race. So Easy Bet Bot, and I'll just show you how you can get them on. So if I go to Settings, this is how quick, we we'll just put, um, make sure, find a race here, what have we got, what time is it? So this race coming up here in, um, where are we? Nine o'clock. Here we are. So, so this was say this Lingfield race was one that you wanted to have a bets on. I mean, we're talking about Australian racing, but there's no Australian racing coming up yet. So, so all all we need to do is we bring up the race into that box. So we just click on there, and we go to the horse that we want. So if we go to there, click program bet, and we get this button OK. That's that bet put on. Now it it'll sit there and wait until such time uh, is 20 seconds because I've got 20 seconds there and a the minimum price 350 to 100 so if this horse comes between those prices at the 20 second mark it will be put on and if it does get missed we've got place at SP so if it does get missed at that price it will put it on at the SP price now that's occasionally you may have it say it may be just at 355 or something and you've programmed it but of course the SP price might come in at 345 or something. Then it will obviously be betting under the 350, but not a long way under. Okay, and I've just bet level staking on them. I just put 25 cents on each one of those horses, and you can just go through and put them on that way. Uh, if you've got scheduled bets. So there's that scheduled bet that we just put on there, Skulk. So that is how uh, Australian Race Rider went today. It, it keeps on throwing up the good winners. And as I said, um, to get the high price winners is hard in Australia. But this, this system, we don't use a conventional way of rating these races, does consistently get high priced winners. So I recommend that you get the package of rate the races. It's a very good deal. Um, 
and easy bet bot and together then you can experiment with the ratings whichever way you want to do them. The ratings are a web based one so it doesn't matter you can get on on your phone, on your tablet, um, wherever you are if you've got internet connection you'll be able to get the races ratings. If you're not interested in Rate the Races Australia we've also got Rate the Races UK Ireland which also does America, South Africa and France so two different packages there but Rate the Races Australia has been going extremely well since we've released it it's only been on the market a month or so here or less than a month and easy bet bites are perennial you can bet greyhounds, horses, cricket and football Okay, just on behalf of Mike and myself, Steve, thanks for watching this. And if you want results like this, then I suggest you grab the Australian Rate the Races. Cheers and all the best. Thank you.